Now let us discuss about introduction to JavaScript. Mainly web pages are classified into two types. The first one is static web page. Second one is dynamic web page. Static web page means there is no interaction between the user and the website. Okay, it simply displays the controls such as text box, button, check box, radio button. Likewise, we can have several controls, but interaction is not possible between the user and the website. So if you want to maintain the interaction, then we have to use dynamic web page. So let's see what is dynamic web page. Here interaction is possible between the user and the website. Okay. So dynamic web page means we can maintain interaction between user and website. Uh, let's see what is a dynamic web page. Dynamic web page is a combination of HTML, CSS and a scripting language like uh, JavaScript. So JavaScript is mainly useful in order to design dynamic web pages. So what is a dynamic web page? There is an interaction between user and the website. Let's take the example of Gmail. So after entering our username and password, if we click on the sign in button, then automatically our details will be submitted to the Gmail server and Gmail server process our request and it displays the corresponding Gmail web page. If you take the example of a website which contains registration form, after entering all our fields, after entering all our data, if we click on the sign in button, then our data, our details will be submitted to the server and those details will be stored in the server. So if you want to maintain an interaction between the user and the website, then we have to use JavaScript. So the major advantage of the JavaScript is this one. We can maintain, we can design the dynamic web page so that we can maintain interactiveness between the user and the website. Let's see the next point. JavaScript is a lightweight scripting language. Here mainly we, we have two types of languages, scripting languages and the programming languages. JavaScript mainly comes under the scripting languages. Here scripting language means uh, in order to develop that application, in addition to that scripting language, we require other technologies also like we require HTML, CSS and we require some other programming languages. If you take Java, Java is a programming language. So in order to design an application that Java is enough, Java programming language is enough. Okay. Whereas scripting language means in addition to this JavaScript, we may require other technologies. Okay. Next, uh, uh, next point here is JavaScript is lightweight. So why JavaScript is called as lightweight? Why? Because here in JavaScript, we don't have any data types. We don't have any data types. If we assign a value to a variable, a is equal to 10, then a will become integer variable. Suppose if we assign a character to a, then a will become a character. If we assign string to a, then a will become string. So JavaScript, in JavaScript, it doesn't support any data types. That's why we can call JavaScript as lightweight scripting language. Why? Because it doesn't support any data types. And one more reason why JavaScript is called as lightweight is here, if you want to execute a JavaScript, there is no need of any extra software. Suppose if you want to execute Java program, we require JDK, Java Development Kit. But in, a, in order to execute a JavaScript program, we don't require any extra software. So that's why we can call JavaScript as lightweight language. And the next one is JavaScript is client-side scripting language. Here we have two types of languages, client-side languages, server-side languages. JavaScript comes under client-side scripting language. 
so it is mainly useful in order to write code yet client side it is mainly useful in order to perform validations validations so if you take the example of uh, a gmail uh, first we, we, we will have some username username should uh, uh, should satisfy some condition it should uh, contain minimum of five characters at least one uppercase alphabet one lowercase alphabet one special symbol likewise if we if we take a password we need to satisfy some conditions it should contain minimum seven characters minimum one alphabet minimum one digit likewise so likewise if you want to maintain any validations at the client side we use java script okay so validations will be done at the client side so the burden on the server will be reduced suppose let us assume that we didn't entered valid username then the error message will be reported at the client side only the data will not be submitted to the server machine so the burden on the server will be reduced uh, let us see the next point javascript program is executed by javascript interpreter so here what is javascript interpreter a program which resides in all browsers so who will execute javascript program it is executed by javascript interpreter so that interpreter resides in all the browsers it may be google chrome or uh, mozilla firefox or internet explorer or netscape navigator in all the browsers this interpreter will be available now let us see the benefits of the javascript the first benefit of the javascript is less server interaction why because for what purpose we are using the javascript mainly for validations purpose so the validations will be done at the client side so that the burden on the server will be reduced so there is no need of more interaction with the server so less interaction with the server is sufficient so let us see the second advantage it increases interactivity so the interactiveness between the user and the website will be increases with the help of the javascript if we enter uh, if we click on the button then all those details which we entered in the form will be submitted to the server uh, so in order to provide the interactiveness we are using the javascript javascript is an easy language to learn why because the syntax is all similar to java c c++ so if you if you are familiar with c c++ and java then understanding that javascript will become quite easy why because the syntax for learning javascript is similar to c c++ and java here no compilation is needed javascript is an interpreter based language so here there is no need of any compilation directly we can execute the javascript program so javascript program is executed by javascript interpreter javascript interpreter is available in all the browsers so here in order to execute javascript program we require a browser and the next point is javascript means it is platform independent let us assume that we executed our javascript program on google chrome then the same program can be executed on mozilla firefox internet explorer opera netscape navigator mac uh, on any other browser okay it may be any browser on any browser uh, we can execute our uh, javascript program uh, let's see the next advantage it is event based programming language event means an action which is performed on the control if we click on the button then some action will be performed all those details will be submitted to the server or if we click if we entered uh, a cursor in the text box then an event will be generated on focus event so uh, 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 on focus is equal to we can write some function and that function will be executed if we place cursor in the text box so we can say that javascript is event based programming language so based on the events based upon the actions we can do several activities we can do several operations it is widely supported in all the web browsers so we can use we can execute 
JavaScript program on all the web browsers. Netscape Navigator, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Opera on all the browsers. Next advantage is it gives easy access to document objects and can manipulate most of them. So with the help of the JavaScript, we can access all the objects which are placed in the document and we can manipulate them. We can change the content of those objects. Let me have label object. So we can change the content of the label with the help of the JavaScript. We have several methods are there. With the help of those methods, we can, yeah, we can um, do the modifications on those objects. JavaScript can give interesting animations with many multimedia data types. So one more benefit of the JavaScript is we can create animations with the help of the JavaScript. So we know about what is a multimedia. Multimedia is a combination of text, sound, graphics, animations and images. So with the help of the JavaScript, we can do, we can create all the multimedia uh, things. And uh, one more advantage is don't need any special plugin to use your scripts by default JavaScript interpreter is available in the browser. Here, if you want to execute a JavaScript, then there is no need of any extra plugin. Uh, simply in the browser, JavaScript interpreter is available. With the help of that, we can execute the JavaScript program. There is no need of any special plugin. So this is about introduction to JavaScript.